On today's show, we're going to start our part two of our five part mini series on the basic mother sauces. Last week, we did the bechamel sauce. This week, we're going to take a look at creating a velote sauce. So we've got everything we need right here. We've got our uh, components for our roux and our chicken stock. And those together are gonna create ourselves a basic velote. But we're gonna kick that up just a tad right here with some baked garlic and a little bit of thyme. So we're gonna have a baked garlic thyme velote sauce. And we're gonna serve that on top of some pan seared baked chicken thighs. We're gonna have some baked uh, little mini potatoes. And over here, you can't see that, but I see it. We're gonna have some steamed broccoli that we're also going to uh, bake for a few minutes with a little bit of lemon juice on top. Hey, welcome to Gourmet Fishing. I'm your host, David Murray. You know what? We've got everything we need right here. So let's go ahead and get started on our velote sauce right now. Let's take a look at what it's going to take to create our basic velote sauce. Well, it's these three <laughs> right here. It's not a lot. And today we're using the 2 2 1 rule. Uh, and that means two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of flour, and a cup of stock. And we're using chicken stock. But a velote sauce, you, you, what you want is a white stock to go with your roux, that could be a vegetable stock, it could be a fish stock. And today we're using a little bit of um, chicken broth, chicken stock. So I tell you what, let's go ahead and make sure we turn that down a little bit. We're gonna add, yeah, there we go. We're gonna add our butter to our pan. Mm. <laughs> it's butter, it's great. It's gotta be good. It's all natural. So come in here over a medium heat, we're gonna melt our butter just like so Heck yeah i tell you i'm gonna move you know what i'm gonna take this chicken and put you right right there until i need you because i don't need you right this second move you over let's get everything we need in order just like that so here we go getting our butter melt oh man heck yeah there we got a little frothiness a little bubbly going on we're gonna come in here with our um flour. I'm just going to add that in there just like that. And now we're going to stir it together and create a little bit of a uh, paste, I guess you could say. And what we're trying to do here is we're going to cook this for probably three, four, maybe five minutes and try to keep it this nice blonde color we got going on right here. But what we want to do with our roux is to bake some of that um, or toast some of that flour flavor out of our flour that's <laughs> in our roux. So, and we're gonna do that by up and cooking it over medium low to a medium heat. Oh yeah, I'll tell you what, that is looking good. I'm starting to get that little bit of nuttiness, that nutty uh, aroma to it. I'm gonna turn this down on about a medium low, just like that. Just a little bit. I'm going to kind of take it off the heat about halfway. So I tell you what, let's take a look at what else we're going to do to our velote sauce while this is doing its thing. I'm going to get you out the way. I don't know. Oh, there's the butter. I was going to what the heck I do with the butter one. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to create one. Well, right now we're creating the basic velote, but we're going to season that up a little bit with this right here. That's uh, that is baked garlic now you said baked garlic how do you do that well tell you what you come in here you get you a nice head of garlic and you want to come down and you want to cut about a quarter of an inch down from the top right off just cut it right off the top and then you're going to come over and i use these little ramekins like i've got my salt in just like this let me move this out of the way hold on let's see here hold on don't want to brown our roux okay that looks good right there all right please you know what don't fall so after you do that, we'll come in and we'll place it in one of our little ramekins. And then we'll come in and we'll add a little bit of olive oil 
on top. This is my uh, my uh, lemon infused olive oil that I love to use. And then we come in here and we'll hit that with just a little bit of salt and just a, a smidge of pepper. Then we covered it with foil. We get our uh, oven preheated to 400 degrees. When that comes up to temperature, put that thing in the oven and cook it for about 30, 40 minutes. And then look at that. Look at that. Just It turns into unbelievable goo. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Check that out. Yes. Just squeeze that stuff out right there. Heck yeah, man. That is awesome. You can, you know, you don't have to use it for what we're using it today. You could, if you had some toast, you could spread that on there. But flavors are unbelievable. It's not as harsh and as strong as regular garlic. So, um, tell you what, that's going to really pair well with our, um, our velote sauce. So I'll tell you what, we got that right there. I'm trying not to touch too much because of my greasy hands. So we've got our, um, our baked garlic that's gonna go in there. And we got some fresh thyme. This is fresh lemon thyme. Comes right out of the, uh, the, the little herb garden down there at Abaco's Bar and Grill, which is right out back behind me downstairs. And then we're gonna finish that off with a little bit of uh, sherry. That's uh, I think that's two tablespoons of sherry. We're going to use about two, maybe three uh, tablespoons of our garlic, and then we're going to use that nice sprig of thyme. So I tell you what, yes, sir, we are getting getting just there, just like that. Oh yeah, looking good. Oh heck yeah, man, that thing looks good, like beautiful, light blonde color, perfect. Now. I've got my chicken broth, my chicken stock. It's uh, it, it's warm. It's not you know boiling or anything like that, but it's probably 115, 120 degrees. And we can add this in three parts. So about a third of a cup at a time. We'll get that nice, uh, nicely worked into our sauce. Then we'll add the second, and then finally the third. So I'll tell you what, let's go ahead, get this in here, just like that. We'll work that in, just like so and it will all kind of sort of come together. Heck yeah, there it goes. See, look at that. See how quickly that thing, boom, thickened up. Okay, now it's time to come back. We'll add our, our, our second third. So now we got two thirds of a cup of, of, of broth in there, or chicken stock. We're gonna come in again. Bring this thing back up to a boil. Look at that, that thickens right up, doesn't it? Voila. Just like that. Now I'm going to come in. We're going to add our final third of a cup, just like so. And we will almost have our basic velote sauce created. Just like that. Check that out. Oh, man. Just like so. Now, as you notice, it looks a little runny. It, it, it'll pop. It'll pop and come right back together. All right. I'll tell you what. We are... We've got, yes, right there, check it out, look at that, it's coming back to a bubble, I'm going to take this off, now that is as thick as it's going to get in this stage right here, now we can, and we're going to, we're going to, uh, you know, cook this thing down a little bit more to, again, help to get some of that flour flavor out of it, probably for another, probably another 10 or 15 minutes, but at this point right here, there we are, that is our basic Velote sauce. Let's see here. Let's check what this is. Man, look at that. Oh, heck yeah. Check that out. Let's see. We'll coat it. It's probably going to be hot. <laughs> but, yep, just like that. Voila. That sauce is done. It definitely needs a little bit more seasoning since we <laughs> haven't seized it, seized it, seasoned it at all. So I tell you what, we're going to come back on. We're going to add this. We're going to come in with our our time but hold on, come on take that off for a second <laughs> and I'm just gonna kind of sort of crinkle this up and I'm, what I'm doing is kind of sort of bruising the leaves oh man that smells good I'm gonna drop that right in there that's gonna help release those oils I'm gonna bring this down on about a almost a low let's see I'm gonna move you out of the way you know what I do need my whisk back just like that. Now let's see. Oh, I need my need my tasting spoon. I'm gonna come in and look at that, man. Nice and it's amazing how all of you know we, <laughs> when we cook this uh, this garlic, bake this garlic that way. Look, look at that. It just turns right into almost like a a butter. So we're gonna come in. I tell you what. You know, 
I think I said two or three tablespoons. I need probably a nice heaping, well, you know what, a, I'd say one heaping um, teaspoon of our garlic. And we're going to get that in there just like so. Get it moved around, broken up. But yeah, look at that. You don't have any lumps really from the, uh, from the garlic. It's all going to kind of sort of dissipate and get all throughout our sauce. Come in here just like this. Come on, I got to break it up. Let's go. There we are. A little bit of a vigorous whisk on top of that garlic. Just like so. Yes, sirree. And then I'm going to come in with our sherry. Whoop. Two tablespoons, just like so. And now we're going to allow our velote sauce to slowly cook the flour flavor out that maybe we didn't quite get out when we were making the roux. So we're going to set this right here and let it do a little simmer cooking. <laughs> simmer cooking, not summer. Simmer cooking. Tell you what, man, that thing is looking and smelling delicious. So speaking of delicious, let's come in here. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, looks good, looks good. Come in here, give it a little taste. That is, that is, that is definitely good. Now what I did while this was uh, doing its little simmer, simmering, I added a little bit of about a pinch of salt in there and a little bit of cayenne pepper. I needed a little bit of a little spice in there. Usually I would use black pepper, but I really don't want to see any little black specks in my in my sauce here. So I tell you what, I think we are, are done. So, Ten minutes or so um, of, of simmer. Ten, maybe maybe twelve minutes. So what we're going to do now? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Um, I don't think I'll need to be tasting the sauce anymore. But what we're going to do is going to strain it into. Well, usually you would have a gravy boat. My gravy boat's right over there, and it's filled with caramel candy. Anywho, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna play with the anchor hawking um, gravy boat right here. So <laughs> anyway, we're gonna grab one of these little strainers, just like that, and I'm gonna come in and well, hmm, I bet. What do y'all think? Mess or no mess? Let's see what happens here. So we're gonna come in and just add this, just like so. Okay, yes. No mess, no mess, please, no mess. Just like that. And I'm doing it just to pick up any of the leaves that are falling off the thyme and maybe maybe some of that garlic, that baked garlic didn't get 100% um, incorporated. So we're going to come in here just like that. Okay, looking good. Heck yeah. And then we're going to come in and we're just going to get our sauce through there just like that. And you know what? I am going to need my little spoon, not to taste it, but to kind of help it get out of my little strainer here. So here we go, just like that. Oh yes. Get all those good flavors. And yeah, see, y'all can see that we got, you know, little pieces of, um, of our thyme. And it looks like a little bit of a, little, maybe a little bit of garlic in there. And there's also a little bit of um, the, um, the black pepper that came from the baked garlic. So just like this, and I'll come in. Oh man, that's some good stuff right there on the bottom. Voila, just like that. How's that? So, man, that looks unbelievably delicious. Oh yes. Heck yeah, you know what? One more taste. And that spoon is a little, <laughs> a little warm. I don't know why I didn't realize that. Wow, anyway, ah, there you go right there. That is our baked garlic and thyme velote sauce. We're getting ready to pair that thing up with some pan seared baked chicken thighs. And we got our, our potatoes have also gonna be getting moving along. And we got a little bit of uh, steamed baked broccoli to go on the side also. But man, check that out right there. Yes. You know, y'all might be uh, asking yourself, what, what the heck is this little thing right here used for? Well, I had a little extra chicken broth, chicken stock in reserve just in case my velote, which I'm going to probably 
just in case my velote got a little too thick and you come back in and you can just kind of sort of, you know, thin that out if you need to. But you know what? We didn't. Everything worked fine. So I tell you, let's go ahead and get started on our potatoes. Now I've got these little small, um, just like, I don't know what they call them, little small fingerling type uh, uh, potatoes. But we got some, I think those are Yukon gold. We got some red and believe it or not, these are purple potatoes you've seen us do see me do a few things uh, using the purple potatoes I've done the mashed potatoes and a couple of other things um, here is our chicken you know I'm gonna come in real quick and I'm just going to make a mess add some salt on top and bottom I love the skin so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna leave that stuff on there it's like it's like crackling heck yeah so here we go just like that I'm gonna let these sit right there for a second. Come over here quickly, give that a rinse. So now we've got that. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pan sear these here in a few moments. As the oven says, it is preheated. That's nice. So now we're gonna come. We're gonna work on our potatoes. These uh, our potatoes here are. Uh, they, they basically have been cooked in boiling salted water for five to ten minutes and what I wanted to do is get them to a point to where they're very I get what do you call that uh, knife tender or fork tender I just wanted to make sure they were soft and almost cooked all the way through because what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil to a hot pan just like so and we're gonna add our potatoes to that we can kind of do a little bit of a, uh, a, a pan, not really pan here, but kind of a saute in olive oil. We've got some uh, lemon juice we're going to add to it. Then I got this stuff right here. I love this stuff. Um, it's not a sponsor, but anyway, it was a ca uh, Cavender's Greek seasoning. Freaking stuff is awesome. Get you some. Try it out. But we're going to add that on top of, of our lemon, our olive oil, on our potatoes. Then we're going to bake those suckers for probably... 15 minutes or so in a 380 degree oven. So let's come on in here, add these guys just like so. Oh, that was kind of about put my finger through that one. <laughs> so anyway, this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna come in here, we're gonna heat these guys up. Where is some tongs? I'm gonna get them to flip around. I don't wanna sling oil everywhere. This is on about a medium high. So just like that, get them all good and coated. Just like so. All right, yes, sir. -y. Look at that; it's starting to get nice. A little, little crinkle up on on the skins there, so we're starting to starting to get them to the point that I like to like to have them before I add um, my my lemon juice. And I'm also going to grate uh, the rind, zest the rind off of this little half of lemon here, and add that to it. Then we'll hit that a few more few more minutes, and then we'll add our our Greek seasoning, and then in the oven they will go. So I'll tell you what, we're looking good here. Let's see if I can show you. Yeah, you can see that purple. That purple guy's kind of got a little bit of, little bit, a little bit of crinkly to him. So I tell you what, that's looking good. We've been, we've been kind of pan, pan searing, pan frying, pan heating for about two or three, four minutes. So I tell you what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead, grab our zester, and let's just take the deliciousness off of our lemon, just like so. All right, yes sir. Check that out. Oh, it's gonna be good right there. Woo! Ah, it just brings out the, that that lemony smell, that lemony aroma. It's awesome. Put you up. I think I'm done with you. I'm gonna come over. I'm gonna grab my lemon um, squeezer. I guess you could say. We're gonna add this right in there. Oh yeah. Turn that down just a tad. Heck yeah. I like that because. All the seeds just went in the sink. I'm coming. I'm gonna grab this last little piece. Now I love, I love lemon. Okay, so you know maybe a half a lemon uh, or, or or maybe a quarter of lemon would be perfect for y'all. Not sure. Uh, I hope not. I hope you like it like this. So let's come back in here. Give this a nice, a nice little toss. Yeah. Look at, oh man, look at all that. That is looking delicious right there. Now I'm gonna come in. And we're going to add some of our Greek seasoning, just like this. 
just like I, I don't know that might be a table teaspoon or teaspoon and a half two teaspoons I'm not sure but right there that is what we're after I'm come over here and grab our little bacon dish I mean um, a, a sheet pan and give this a nice little flip around like so and we're gonna add these just like that Voila. simple and eat and easy pan was hot <laughs> so now i'm actually going to turn that heat up get us another pan get this warmed up and then we're going to start working on our pan seared baked chicken again oven's been he uh, preheated to 380 actually 382 <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know anyway so i'm going to add my potatoes and we're going to let those bake for 10 minutes or so or at least while these guys are doing their searing thing. So, heck yeah, let's go ahead and get started on that. Okay, I tell you, I think we are ready to begin pan searing our chicken. I'm gonna come over here with our olive oil, just like this. I'm gonna add a little bit of this lemon flavored oil. Yum, yum, yum. Gonna give that a little bit of a uh, rub down on our seasoned chicken. Now I'm going to come in and I've kind of got the, um, uh, the, 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 the uh, skin kind of wrapped on underneath our chicken and these are, believe it or not, they are about, a, not room temperature, you don't want to, you know, anyway, but I did bring them up to temperature so they quick cook a little quicker. Not quick, a little cooker, but anyway, here we go. Come in just like this. Give a quick little sear, then we're gonna flip them right over, then we're gonna flip them back. Oh, heck yeah, man, check that out. Yes, sir. That smells good. Now I'm gonna come in and attempt to give this a little flip, just like so. Whoop, just like that. I wanna try to get that skin on the top side rolling. Kind of, and kind of sort of pulls apart, but we'll be able to get that back underneath here in a second, just like that. Let's see here, what do we got? Oh, man, that's looking good. Check that out. Just like so. Wow. Yum, yum. And just like so. Check that thing out. Wow, those are looking awesome, man. Heck yeah. So we're going to pan sear these a little longer on, on the, the what I call the bottom side. And then guess what? In the... You know, let's see. What are, what are we going to do here? No. We're going to add a little bit more seasoning to this. We're going to do that right now. I don't for that. We're going to grab... A couple of spices here. We've got some garlic salt. You can add this right on top. Just like that. Oh, yeah. Not a lot. You don't need a lot at all. And then we got ourselves a little bit of um, black pepper. This is, um, again, not a lot. Just on top. Just like that. This is some of that coarse, coarse ground butcher style black pepper. I love using that. Now, let's see, you know what we can come in? Hit this with just a little bit more salt. And that's it. Hey, you know what? That's an unbelievable spice combination for a steak. That's a good steak. You put it on short, that's all you need. Salt, pepper, and garlic salt. Unbelievable. Another thing, salt and pepper goes well on. Baby back ribs. We're gonna have to do that one time. It takes about an hour and a half for me to do mine. Uh, cook them on about 350 degrees on a grill with apple wood smoke unbelievable anyway we're gonna let these guys sit here and cook just a little bit longer and then we're gonna drop them in the oven oh yeah all right I tell you what let's see what the bottom looks like oh yep 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 we are ready we're gonna drop these in the oven right now 382 degrees and you go and I tell you what I'm gonna do right the second I'm gonna take my potatoes out Oh yeah, check those things out right there. Heck yeah. Now remember David, that thing is hot and so was that. So we gotta be careful. Yes sir, we can kind of just spin those around, flip them around just like that. Come over here with my, with my broccoli. You know what, I'm gonna <laughs> turn that off <laughs> before I do anything stupid and hurt myself. Now I've, I've already steamed my broccoli. Um, add a little um, 
uh, soy sauce on there. I added so and soy sauce also went in the bottom um, with the water. Got a little vegetable steamer right here. Top it with some of the uh, the Greek spices. Now we're gonna come in here just like this. We're gonna add our broccoli, just like so, and back in the oven. They're going to bake with our chicken. Oh yeah. Oh my, look what we got in there. Heck yeah, man, that looks good. Looks real good. I'm coming and grab my, yeah, my taters and my broccoli. And now I'm gonna come in, what do we got going on here? Oh, wow, check that out. Oh man, that looks, looks pretty good. <laughs> if I say so myself, heck yeah. I'm gonna keep this thing right here because I don't know how many times I've grabbed that after I pulled it out thinking, I'm some kind of a superhero <laughs> or something. That thing will light you up. So just remember that, uh, that that thing is hot. I tell you what, let's see here. I'm gonna grab lemon right here. Let's give that a squeeze. Man, that one's must just come off the darn vine. <laughs> kind of tough. Let's see, grab me a knife. And I'm going to top our... Um, Broccoli over here with a little bit of uh, lemon juice, just like that. Kind of brighten those flavors up. Oh yeah, just like so. And then I about made a mess. I'm just gonna kind of sort of whatever's left over, drop them right on top of our potatoes, just like that. So in you go there. Now it's plating time. What are we gonna do here? I got two plates. I don't know. Yep, I think we're gonna retire you. Seems to be a, maybe a little small for what we got going on. But I tell you what, let's see here. We need to, what am I gonna do? I don't know what I'm, you know, I'm gonna grab these guys right here. Just like that. I'm gonna come in, we're gonna add, yeah, just like that. We're gonna add our taters just in here. Kind of sort of give them a little bit of a, I don't know, placement, a good placement. Ah, whatever. <laughs> so, anywho. Just like that. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh, you know that, that little guy right there is gonna be delicious. <laughs> he just looks like he's gonna taste unbelievable. So what do we have here? Let's see. We're gonna come in, add this guy here. This guy maybe, I don't know, right here. Drop this guy like that. And then what where are you going? Uh-huh, you sticking, aren't you? And grab you, I don't know. There we are, just like that. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. So, now, what are we gonna do here? Check that out. Oh man, that looks good, just by itself. So, next, we're gonna come in, we're gonna grab our chicken, but before that, I'm gonna step out of frame, I think, maybe, am I? Nope, I'm still here. I'm gonna grab a couple of paper towels, just like so. I thought I had everything I needed, and I'm just going to get some of that oil grease chicken grease off the bottom of my chicken now what you want to do is uh before you cut your chicken you want to let it rest for about five or ten minutes but anyway we're gonna come in here we're gonna drop this guy here this little guy right here i mean there's, there was nothing really special about what we did to the chicken um this is kind of pan seared baked oh that right there is gonna be pan, pan sorry pan seared baked chicken nothing again like i said nothing nothing magical at all about it I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna move you out of the way. I think, just like that, yeah, okay. So, now I'm gonna come in, flip this guy this way, just like so. Let's see here, what are we gonna do here? Boop, just like that. This guy, voila. Boy, I wanna eat that thing so bad right now. I'm gonna put that right there, just a little bit of that. A little bit of that chicken crackling, which is so delicious. Put you here. Yep, again, you're gonna hide right there. <laughs> Come in just like so. Kind of sort of give this a little bit better presentation. We got our velote sauce, and we're just gonna come in here just like that. Oh man, how about that? Oh yes, just like that. Man, 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 yum, yum. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, that right there is our baked garlic and thyme velote 
sauce on top of our pan seared baked um, uh, chicken thighs. Then we've got our, 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 our spicy Greek and lemony uh, potatoes and our steamed baked broccoli. Heck yeah. Now, you know what you could do if you wanted to, you know, my, I don't know, we'll come in here. We'll just add a couple of little, you know what? I, you know, I do, I like, I do like um, lemon flavor with my chicken. So, you know, what the heck? We'll come in here. We'll just drop a couple of these just like that. Heck yeah. I don't know. Why not? There we are. That's perfect. Yep. Just like that. How about that, man? That thing looks delicious right there. Man. Wow. Yum. 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 Oh man, I tell you what, I think I need to try a little bit on the plate. You know what I think? I'm going to go for one of our potatoes. I'm going to grab that guy right there. Oh man, that smells delicious. I'm going to come in, grab ooh, a little bit of our velote on top. Please don't be hot. <laughs> Please don't burn my mouth. Mmm. Oh man. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh goodness, <laughs> that thing, oh those things are, I, del please try them, delicious, they are. That creaminess from that potato itself, and you get the lemon, and then you get this great uh, Greek seasoning flavors, and then you come over and grab a little of that velote sauce, where you get that baked garlic, and a little bit of that thyme, and that sherry kind of, it all sort of comes together perfectly. Hey right down there we've got a surf and turf recipe that's uh pretty good kind of usually we have all seafood but hey there and there try something a little different right here hey don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh no really please do subscribe many five percent of y'all that watch it aren't subscribing please it helps me out helps us out so i tell you what until next time god bless and we'll see you soon